guys, it's Andrew. It's our first weekly um, video, and today we are going to talk about our mix. We're at our Chad's Ford location, it's a little bit smaller, not as much production goes on, so we got a little bit more room for today. Um, Sorry about the audio, we we're on it. I ordered a microphone, just working on that little uh, converter piece or maybe even a new camera. But anyways, let's get inside and start doing this thing. All right, so step one, obviously you've got to wash my hands. So I'm going to wash my hands here in the sink and then we'll go back to the flower. I'm sure you guys the flower, the dirt conditioner, uh, what the water pump does, what the water mix or the mixer looks like. Uh, obviously we got daily production going on right now. we got twisting going on, but that's coming soon. That's next week. This week is just about the mix and what our product is. Talk soon. So our mix, I'll show you all the machines first, and then after the machines we get to the actual goodies. What makes those delicious pretzels, rivets, minis, anything we have in this place does that. The only thing we do not make here is our cheese sticks. That comes from a packager, um, but everything else is made in house here when it comes to the product. So first off, we got our water meter. Water meter tells us temperature, how much water we're putting in and all that fun stuff. Controls the heat and everything. Going down, we got our mixer. Yes, it is dirty, but that's because we are still doing active mixes today. So it looks a little dirty, but don't worry. It is clean. That's all fresh product from this morning. It gets sanitized every single morning. As soon as they're done, they sanitize the stringer and this. But the stringer will go to next week. All right, coming over here, we got our salt. Then we got our flour. This is what makes the yumminess. So looking at the flour, obviously, is what it is. We use a 50-pound bag with 16 ounces of dough conditioner and anywhere between 9.6 to 10.2 liters of water depending on the temperature. Now, it's dry outside. I mean, there's a little bit of humidity in the air, so we're going to stick to the 9.6. At this location, it stays very nice. So what we'll do now is we'll set up the water, get the water going, get to the flour, dump in the flour. As soon as the flour is dumped in, grab the conditioner and put that in, and we'll walk you step by step. So why don't you hit on back Jericho, and we'll get over to it. All right, so we have a brand new hot water heater. So the temperature's a little bit off, but the dough's been coming out perfectly this morning. So what the first thing we do is, just hit the power button, automatically just dumps on into our mix. All right, now let's grab our 50 pound bag of flour. Obviously, you gotta have that Philly Pretzel Factory flour. If you don't have Philly Pretzel Factory, it doesn't taste like one of our pretzels. Bring it on over here, right on top. Slowly dump on in. Want to spread it around as you're dumping it because it gets in one spot, it acts like a concrete. That's when you break your uh, your mixer arm. All right. After that, obviously through all our stuff, we do keep track of all the flour. That's how we know our numbers. That'll be something we go over on my personal YouTube as well as my personal Facebook. Is the numbers? How much per bag we can make? How much? That's called bag yield. But we'll get into that later. All right. It's time. It's been uh, about eight and a half minutes. Let's pull the. Oh, doesn't that look good? That is what a mix is exactly supposed to be like. Nice, elastic, not too warm, not too cold. A little bit wrapped around the hook, but that's okay. You want it to be stringy, you don't want it to be one glove. So, now we're gonna just take a little bit, we're gonna throw it into the mix for these guys. Now it comes back in here, and then this is where we're gonna start next week's video. Right here. 